Hi traders, welcome to Elite Currency. My name is Chris and this video, of course, taking a look at the Euro dollar and pound dollar. All right, this is the Euro dollar weekly chart. And last week was a very bearish candle, as you can see, the close very close to the, to the low, indicating a lot of uh, bear control there for that week. If you take a look at the daily chart, we were looking at uh, Thursday saying, okay, if this daily candle closes uh, below this fractal with a good close, we should see continuation. We had that on Friday already. And Friday was again a strong candle. So I think we're looking at strong bearish pressure at the moment that should test the previous bottom around 115. And that could be a new bouncing spot, of course, potentially as well. With this current formation, price has been going sideways for, for many weeks already. We're talking about almost two, three months, I guess. So if we do get a break of 115, uh, I don't see a lot of space. It could be that we are finishing a wave four right here. But I think that the 50 fib, which was missed by just a little bit, a few pips there, is still a, a very viable and strong potential support level at around 114.50. That's a key zone as well. So I do think that although price is currently around 115.60, we might see a little bit of retracement at the beginning of this week, a, a fall down to 115 and then perhaps 114.50. But there's not a lot of space to the downside either. So it's a little bit of a, a tricky uh, spot for the euro dollar. It's kind of being squeezed uh, in between consolidation zone that has lasted for three months and some bearish pressure that's running into uh, support pretty quickly. So let's take a look at that FIB. It is the FIB from this swing high to this uh, swing low, sorry, to swing high. And that looks like a five wave pattern. And we're probably looking at a five wave down. Now, right now that could complete the wave A and expecting three waves up for wave B and then again, uh, five waves to the downside for wave C. So we might be finishing here at wave four or five of that bigger wave A. So let's take a look at the daily chart. And we can see that wave four could have been all this. Uh, for instance, here at A, B. No, that's not possible, actually. Uh, but it could have been some kind of corrective sideways uh, zig uh, consolidation zone, right? And we had a break below this support zone indicating that the bigger upside that I expected is most likely not going to happen. We didn't get a break of the triangle pattern to the upside. If you put trend lines like this, all right, you can see that triangle pattern uh, pretty clearly with the pink lines that we added here. We didn't get a bullish break, but Thursday we certainly got a bearish break. So I think let's zoom into the four hour chart. I think we're looking at a wave three at this moment. Basically, we we're saying that this is probably ABC on Thursday. But it depends on the reaction of price at support. We would have to see a pretty strong move up here to make it more likely that it's an ABC. And then we're waiting for a bull flag. That never happened. So at this moment, I think it's more likely that this is a, not an ABC, but a one, two, three. And this could be a wave four. And down it goes for wave five. So let's go to that one hour chart and zoom in a little bit here. So from my perspective, this is probably looking like a wave three. So we can put a fib from the top of wave two to the bottom of wave three you can see the price stopped at the 38.2 fib let's go back to the four hour chart there we go and uh, or maybe even daily and uh, we're looking for continuation to towards this minus 61.8 fib minus 100 fib at around 114.25 114.50 114.75 those could be targets now price might break through that level that is certainly possible it's not something i'm counting on right now because I think that it will be a very strong support zone. If price does break through that level with a good daily candle, of course, that changes the perspectives. Candlestick patterns like that are giving us information that that support level is being broken. If there is a big wick, uh, four hour daily chart, there is some candlestick pattern that shows a bullish reversal, then it would confirm what I'm expecting, which is uh, in terms of wave patterns, which is basically a wave four five right here of that bigger wave A. And we should see an aggressive move up in that case for a wave A, down for B, and up for C within the bigger wave B. All right. So back to one hour chart. Now, whether this wave four is finished remains to be seen. Uh, it, you know, wave four can be lengthy, uh, choppy, sideways. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see actually one more bounce and, and maybe even extended kind of triangle or even some kind of bear flag and then a break of that bear flag uh, like this, right? And a continuation. It is August. So we got to keep in mind that 
Price action could be choppier, could be slower as well. So I would expect a little bit more of a, a, a bigger kind of flag here at the moment for the euro dollar at the moment. But if it does break with good four hour candle uh, below this bottom, you know, of course, and you see a flag on the lower time frame, then we might be already ready for that continuation. All right, let's move on to that pound dollar. Uh, basically, continuation as well, strong candle, closing the low with the pound, we had a strong breakout candle, same like the euro dollar basically. And so far, uh, bounce pretty strong off this the top of this uh, downtrend channel. Let's add that. And you can see that we have some space again to, to fall at this moment. Now, I was expecting a bigger uh, bullish correction if we had a candle that could close above this uh, trend line. It didn't. It actually closed below this fractal, which uh, is indicating a potential for more downside. So I was leaning towards an ABC here. It could still be. I think the pound dollar is a, a difficult read at this moment. Uh, I was leaning towards a five wave up here, an ABC, sorry, here, five waves up here for wave A, an ABC for wave B, and up for wave C. That should be blue, like this. That was my primary wave analysis last week. We got all of this was correct. But the big question is, will price indeed bounce here for that beginning of wave C? I am, your dollar looks more bearish to me because the downside was stronger, this downside seems stronger on the euro dollar than the pound. So far on the pound, is this could be an ABC. Let's put back the FIB from here to here. And you can see the price bounce off a deep 88.6 FIB. So I'm not too sure if this is necessarily wave three. It could be. I'm going to keep an eye on, let's keep an eye on this FIB from here to here. All right, because if this is a wave one, two, wave one, two, and this is a three, then the wave four should typically not break above the 50 fib. So if it re-breaks above 130.60, then I think it is at 130.80, then I think it is starting to be more likely that this was an ABC, that this is a wave one probably, will go down for wave two, and we're gonna have a bullish breakout for wave three. If price, however, stays below that, and you see a kind of a pattern like that, hit the 21 EMA, you see a flag and price breaking below that, then it is probably wave one, two, three, four, five of a bigger wave three. We'll see one more pullback and a continuation of wave five like this, all right, with wave one, two here. So that's basically, I think, what I'm looking for at the moment. I want to see a pattern here that would confirm a, a wave four of a lower degree of, for instance, this degree of orange, wave one, two, three, four, five. Or if we see strong price action breaking below, uh, above 50 and 61.8 FIB and the 21 EMA zone and these previous bottoms, in that case, it looks like this ABC is finished and we're going to up for wave C to complete a bigger wave ABC. Now, last week, I thought the ABC, the blue ABC, the bullish ABC, seemed more likely. Now, I think it's 50-50. Due to the strong price action, the bearish price action on the euro dollar, and also the pound dollar, uh, I think it is really a 50-50 at this moment. It really depends on the price patterns that we see here, the chart patterns that um, we'll see at the beginning of next week. What seems more likely, the downside continuation or a reversal? We'll have an update on Tuesday, and we'll take a look at the patterns and see uh, if uh, which of these two scenarios is more likely. All right, that's it for now. If you Want to check out more free analysis, please go to EliteCurrency.com where we have our blog and we have, of course, multiple updates per day that you can check out and wish you all good trading above all. Cheers.